Hello everyone, I'm Lance Koike and today we're talking about the dumbbell row and how sometimes people use their low back for this upper back exercise. So the premise of the dumbbell row is I want to get my shoulder blade muscles loaded and maybe even a little bit of this lat muscle and this lat muscle connects all the way up into my shoulder and then all the way down actually into my low back and into my pelvic bones. Um, when I shorten the lat muscle, I feel it squeeze and it feels like it's working. But when I really shorten the lat muscle, I also crunch down my uh, uh, spinal column and it looks like this. Oh yeah, my lat almost cramped there. So I'm getting a lot of lat doing this. But what is the goal? I don't think that just getting lat is necessarily the goal. I think the goal is to continue training for a long period of time. And I know that if I do that, I'm probably going to get a headache later that day or the next day. And my back's going to be really sore and not in a good way, right? I like upper back soreness. I like some lat soreness. I don't like low back soreness. It doesn't feel that great. So part of this is, am I just setting up too hard? Am I trying to feel that lat squeeze too much? Um, but the other part of this is, am I moving into that as I row? So a lot of times people, when they're, when they're not securing their legs in the ground, they will start to shift forward onto their toes and arch their back to do the row. Right. So I'll generally if you've watched my other video about letting your head sag down, you're probably going to get a little bit of that. You're going to feel a lot of peck supporting you down here. You're going to arch your back as you row. You're going to feel it in your low back. You might feel it in your lat and you maybe feel it in your middle back, but probably not as much as if you do it in a way where you're not arching that low back. You are feeling your heels firmly in the ground and you're getting that full shoulder retraction from there. And if I do this, then I can feel, even with just my hand, I can feel a little bit of a squeeze in my middle back area, and I can actually feel my legs. Hey, that's kind of nice. So this one's common. It's, it's more common in people who are a little bit trained because they've kind of learned to feel out some different muscles and they've done it a certain way and it feels really good when they do it that way. Um, I would challenge you to at least try it this way, maybe once or twice, where you're keeping your feet really firm in the ground and you're, you're letting that shoulder come back without your back arching, without losing that core stability, that core position. Um, I just think you're gonna feel a lot better and you're gonna be able to uh, train harder for a longer period of time.